What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys. So I was requested to check out this video. It's called um, Top 10 Best Horror Movie Villains of the 2010s So Far. Um, Damn, 2010. So I can't really say somebody from like 2007. But I'm going to say it anyway for like a bonus or something. For me, I'm going to definitely have to add... Hmm... Mary Shaw, because for me, when I was 11 years old and I went to see Dead, I was going to say Dead Saw, Dead Silence with my mother, I don't know how this came about. I really don't. I don't know if she said, let's go see it, if this was like a horrible prank or something, or did I say I wanted to see it? I don't really remember, but all I know is Mary Shaw looked the wrong way. You see how it is? She terrified the flying shitter out of me at 11 years old. And you can't help but sympathize with me. Like, think about that. Somebody in an old town called Ravensfair went on a killing spree on every, killing spree on every motherfucker that did her the fucker wrong and made her scream and cut out her fucker tongue. Okay, shout out to So So Madame. That's where I get the fucker shitter shitter from. You know what I'm saying? Uh... <laughs> And, like, she was literally getting her revenge and shit on everybody who had something to do with her being dead. Like, they forced her to scream and cut out her motherfucker tongue. I said, hell no. But, um, enough of me rambling. You guys, actually, let me know in the comments section. Let me know in the comments section below who is some of your favorite, like, horror movie villains. Whether from the 2010s or even before then. Y'all let me know, but let's go ahead and check out this video, all right? In about a three, two, one. Who says they don't make good horror movies anymore? Welcome to well, I mean, it's hard sometimes to and find that shit we're out. we're cutting down our picks for the top ten modern horror movie <laughs> villains. Before <laughs> we begin, we publish new content out. every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel My damn and shirt, ring the bell man. to get notified about our latest videos. For this list... We're looking at the greatest the villains in horror movies released after 2010. We oh, will Annabelle, be you definitely got a major plot scary points, so in a spoiler alert is now in effect. Oh, oh. Number she 10. Busts her the Masked hey. Men, you're That next. movie was crazy as shit. Picture a mix of 80s slasher cheese and a hefty dose of Home Alone, and you've got your next. The plot begins in slasher fashion. A family Damn. is having a get together in a secluded house. I'm gonna have to Enter watch this shit again. Three individuals wearing crazy. animal masks that kill their victims, and write your next on the walls. Like this is even While darker version of the Bray, Bray Wyatt family and, and shit. What makes them so unique is their humanity. These aren't indestructible slasher monsters. They're just people who make stupid decisions and often end up paying the price for their sloppiness. Oh they yeah, I forgot. They was all like in on it or some of shit. The slasher movie monster. You don't want your DNA in here, man. I'll clean it up later. Number nine, the lipstick face demon, Insidious. Man, listen. Ooh, see? That the motherfucker. The face demon gave us one of the most unexpected Boy, jump back in the day the when I saw this movie. A demon that resides in Look at that shit. Further. An enigmatic location between heaven you and earth. You walk in to check on the your child, and you see that old dark ass demon in the damn corner. How does he breathe like that? Was he doing something to himself? Series, it's his presence in the first film that's the most shocking, complete with the aforementioned jump scare and his creepy lair in the further. The scariest things are those we cannot understand or imagine, and the lipstick face demon fits that bill to a T. I rebuke you in the name Number of eight, Jesus. Gary Sitterson and Steve Hadley, The Cabin in the Woods. Are you even listening to me? I thought this came out earlier on, but okay. Gary Sitterson and Steve Hadley are two normal dudes, but their jobs are slightly unconventional. They manipulate a killing field to ensure that the chosen victims play their designated slasher roles and die at the hands of various monsters. Oh this my. This is so they can appease the ancient ones Look living under the Look at that coming facility. out of there. Or smoke, Just whatever the fuck. with it. Oh, baby, like some on. thriller type shit. Crawl alone. Bitch, is that Thor? 
Their manipulations of the environment and characters are an intelligent deconstruction of slasher oh, tropes, shit. and they themselves are terrifically entertaining. Mostly That'll teach your ass to not have sex in the fucking woods at Richard night Jenkins anyway. Bradley Whitford. It's not often that horror villains are this much fun Man, and listen. enjoyable to be around. Am I on speakerphone? No, absolutely not. Number seven. Which <laughs> it took too long the to answer that. It may not oh, be Lord. everyone's cup of tea, but there's no denying yeah, that the, the hell is little red Robin Hood looking like that for with all her titties Unlike pretty much most out. villains, the witch is rarely Yo, what seen. What you trying to do? Instead, the film allows us to bask in the paranoia and fear it generates. Is and she it's gonna kiss this little ass boy? that could ever be physically put to film. When the um, witch excuse is seen, me. Like when she appears as a creepy old lady drinking goat blood to seduce Caleb, or when she slathers the Illuminati blood hell? on her body, it is hella effective. Seen or not, the witch is a gleefully scary character. <laughs> Bitch, that laugh alone is scary as hell. Look at that big fat ass Number crow. Six. Annabelle, the Conjuring franchise. Annabelle ass, when especially home, when I saw the Conjuring for the first time, the scared the Creepy shit out of me. Are always good for a scare. Okay. And the Conjuring series certainly Look makes great use of this fact. Annabelle only briefly appears in the first Conjuring movie, but her presence and was she so got her own eerie and unsettling that she Annabelle received her, her own coins. prequel. The simple That's concept of a sentient doll terrorizing people is scary enough, that baby is but too its damn horrifying cute. physical appearance is also enough to unsettle even the most devout doll appreciators. Hell yeah! She began as a movie-stealing wonder Seeing and something grew like into that a main villain, with her two movies having grossed over $500 million, proving that audiences can't mm -mm. get enough of she this said, disturbing doll. She said, I see you, doll. bitch. That black ass hand. What in the demonic hell? Number five, Bagul Sinister. Bagul, the eater of children. I never seen that before. Did you say eater? Okay, the name is silly, but Bagul is certainly an entity you do not <laughs> want to mess with. Bagul. Bagul is an ancient deity who possesses oh, and Lord. steals the souls of children. Bagul makes creepy appearances in the home movies that Ellison watches. It's always some with kids. children and makes them murder their own families in horrifically brutal fashions. Oh God. The relative lack of knowledge surrounding Bagul and its origins make it seem timeless and undefeatable. In the Damn, ways in she which really it got blood on her hands. Downright Literally. Sickening. It's uh, black she metal definitely got caught red hand. Also deeply unsettling. Literally. Making Bagul a terrifying presence in I remember physical somebody physical said that looked like a demonic manner. version of Michael Jackson's ghost or something. I couldn't help but laugh, but but I love Michael Jackson though. Number ah. four, it. Oh Pennywise, hell the yes. Clown, it. He way Black worse than the one back in the nineties or eighties, whenever that came out. Pennywise is undoundedly one of Stephen King's scariest creations. And look at them. That, them eyes is what get me. In the look at that. Look at him. It. While Tim Curry's look Pennywise at the evil is a look. classic character. Bill Skarsgård filled his oversized shoes. She said, "I'm not good. I'm not, not, not real enough for you." Evil interpretation. <laughs> oh my this God! Does not play around. Look at his eyes. He I'm telling you, that's you, what it is. Toys with you and doesn't make any silly jokes. The various physical forms it takes throughout the film are real, but it's Pennywise's unsettling face part. and taunting behavior that really make him a notable on-screen presence. This is one villain that simply feels omnipresent and unbeatable. Beep, beep, Richie. Ah! Ooh, Lord. Number Yo, three. Yo, Bill Skarsgård played the, the hell out of um, Pennywise. I'm telling you. He can't get rid of the Jesus. Babadook. The Babadook was an I extremely heard about divisive this film that split audiences between those who loved the unsettling on atmosphere and those who expected another oh, conjuring and you still standing there? story. Like the witch, the Babadook Bitch, is that's the fucking seen. boogeyman, Instead, Ron! We hear the sinister noise Hell is wrong with you. and catch glimpses of it in the shadows, leaving our imaginations to do the rest. It makes for a creepy villain oh, in the traditional sense, and serves as a fantastic she metaphor that mouth. for depression Shout out to and grief, which helps base it in more relatable real-world fears. The Babadook is both a scary monster and a dreadful feeling, and we don't know which is more terrifying. Hello? I always feel like... Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Number two, the Armitage get the fuck family. Get off my phone. Get out. By the way, I I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Best president in my lifetime, hands down. Like most great horror stories, Get Out combines terrifically entertaining scares. This was a good movie. Unique real-world criticisms and anxieties. 
the Armitage family puts on a veneer of friendliness, Wake up. welcoming Chris <laughs> with open arms and trying to impress him with their liberalism. However, they the can't help but show play. their racism. And in the climax, we learn that they kidnap black people to use their bodies as physical vehicles for their own minds, as they believe black people to be exceptional. You can view the Armitage family through the lens of social satire, or simply as an entertaining villainous family akin to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a strategic game, like chess. It's all about being two, three, four moves ahead. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. What the fuck is this evil man? Yep. And he's not gonna stop looking at you. Yeah, that shit. Oh, Velik, yes. Her ass is fucking scary, I'm telling you. Especially that part. I was like, girl, just look at that. Boom! Woo! Woo! Send me in there, I'll finish up. The neo Nazis. Number one. The hell? Entity. It follows. Hello? Oh god, not this again. Hello. She the just walked up. Come on, hello, girl, you on the phone? Unnerving. It's a mysterious and invisible entity that indefinitely pursues its victims. It doesn't stop for arrest. It isn't phased by fear, and it is literally unstoppable. Oh. It follows gets its scares from the constant dread and paranoia that the entity generates while at the same time showcasing it in various physical and scary ways, such as the old lady he just and the tall get, man. Did she just get clocked with a... What the f Get out! The slow approach it takes towards its victims is that was dreadfully creepy. scary. And the way Who is this elderly woman walking out with her task. damn nightgown on? Is Somebody call her damn nurse. And arguably the greatest what horror the villain fuck? of the decade. He looks pretty damn creepy walking down that damn. Oh shit! Do you agree with our? Even though I didn't see some of these movies, I must say, I can agree with this list. Like they had some pretty creepy horror movie villains and stuff. I definitely wanted to mention Velik because when I saw her ass, let me tell y'all something. If anybody saw The Conjuring 2, if you didn't, spoiler alert. Okay, I'm sorry, but The Conjuring been out for quite a few years now. When Velik appeared. Uh, really in like the last, like when she really making a, made an appearance in like the last scene of The Conjuring 2. And uh, what's her name? Lorraine was on the wall and shit. Velik had her ass on the wall. Ed was about to die on that big ass tree stick thing. Um, and she basically said Velik, the Marquis of Snakes, the defying demon or something like that. I condemn you back to hell in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Straight up rebuked her ass. And she, like, her mouth started getting all burnt and shit. And she was... And she said, I condemn you back to hell. And Vela, she's like, ah, you know. She was getting, she was going back to hell. She's a demon, so that's where the fuck you got to go, bitch. Um, but like, she like transformed Transformers into a demonic devil. Like, that's what the fuck she turned. I said, like, bitch, all the fuck I saw is a black ass figure with fucking horns. I said, oh, hell to the motherfucker. No. I said, where's my crucifix right now? Where's my holy water? I'm going to spray it on the goddamn movie screen. Whoo, that was terrifying. But I don't know what it was, but like she was like, I kind of like how she looked, even though she scared the hell out of me. It was just crazy. But yeah, for the most part, I agree with this list. And uh, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, all right? Like the video, share the video. Let me know some, like I said before, let me know some of your favorite horror movie villains, right? Uh... And as well as anything I can react to, blah, 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 blah. as well as anything I can react to for you guys next, okay? Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, follow my Instagram. You can send me reaction requests there as well, and hit that notification bell. And I see you guys in a bit. Taylor Rain, I'm out this day.